Oh man, guys, we're gonna have to backtrack. <laughs> I hate to do it, but it'll probably give us a lot of information that we actually need. That's really funny. We did the third mission for our first one. It was time. The troops of the absolute evil had driven the Alliance back to their capital, King's Ending. The time for the final battle had arrived. Prepare to destroy the Alliance and with it, all good in the land once and for all. Bars disable traps, reveal invisible units. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom full of flowers and rainbows where the sun shone all the time and there was loads of that goody, goody, lovey, dovey, good people stuff going on. <laughs> there, the alliance of abominably good people lived in unearned wealth and prosperity. But there was a path leading to a different place there. At the end of this path was a rock. There was a cave carved in this rock in which the absolute evil lived. It wasn't a grubby, damp cave smelling of muck and mildew, but a deep, dark dungeon. So dark that even darkness itself was afraid of it. It was home to numerous innocent monsters who enjoyed a happy, contented existence, living in complete harmony with their environment. But time and again, <laughs> the sickening, sweet-smelling good visited this underworld in search of treasure and experience points. Many monsters found this to be the death of them, but much worse, the absolute evil's treasures were being stolen. One day, just as a few more heroes had finished plundering its dungeon, the absolute evil decided it had had enough and decided to do something new, something quite monstrous. Go to the surface. The Alliance tried to resist, but the approaching horde just flowed over them like an angry wave of axes, teeth, and bad breath. After numerous unrelenting battles, the absolute evil finally stood before the Alliance's capital, King's Ending. Yeah, this is fucking hilarious. This is actually, that's actually gold. After countless battles, the forces of the absolute evil reached the Alliance capital, King's End. The lovable remnants of the forces of good had come here to make ready for the final battle. The evil would pay a high price indeed to storm those fortress worlds, or so they thought. <laughs> Suddenly, a rumble rose from deep within the earth. Stones burst asunder, revealing an ancient path into the depths. Out of the depths of Stygian darkness arises the invincible evil. With earth-shaking steps, the unstoppable evil began its trek towards the front. The prime evil. His HP is 1337. How that works. A formidable help function has been provided. A formidable help function. Well, this explains a lot as to why it didn't explain fucking anything to me. He only hits six six sixes. This guy is so evil. This is the most evil. I do like it when games do this, though. A determined absolute evil marched towards them in order to strike them down with its mighty weapon. I like when games like show you how strong you can be. The absolute evil so it like gives you something to work for. These legendary awards ensure the creature could be made even more powerful. Only one one the creature could only wear one at a time. Eyes ablaze with greed. The insidious evil gazed upon the blood-drenched battlefield. Here, the last defenders of good would die, and an age of evil begin. Projectiles from the Alliance's catapults darkened the sky, but the Horde's fighting skills were at their best in darkness. If they 
Like, I want to get to the point to where I'm like this strong, you know what I mean? The forces of good never had a chance against the absolute evil. No, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right, Tits. Absolute evil strode like a war god through the defenders' ranks and smote them with ease to the ground. <laughs> he says, oops, I was AFK. Did we talk about him? A little bit. He said you guys only said good things. The absolute evil destroyed the defenders but Arsenic, we found out that we uh, we did the third now, mission first. One tiny camp offers any resistance to the absurdly evil evil. So we're doing the tutorial, the actual tutorial now. Is beach. What up, Bojo? How you doing? I thought you're literally. If you go back and watch the wheel spin, I mention you. Because I remember you talking about, it and I said it was on the wheel. So we accidentally did the third dungeon first. Now the time had come to attack King's Ending, the final battle. I think it said it released in 2015, Arsenic. It does look really good. I really like the aesthetic, man. I'm a sucker for a good aesthetic. The was firmly barricaded by the Alliance's archers, but the absolute evil would not allow itself to be held up by such ridiculous impediment. So, go get them! Destroy them now! Ha 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 ha! Oh yes, sorry. Stay in character. <clears throat> the absolute evil used its all-powerful magic to eliminate the archers. Oh, I have skills? I guess I should like read, huh? And open the gate to the city. Yeah, we know about spawner buildings. We know how to attack units. I know how to select and move things. Using its legend of wait for it, Derry powered. The absolute evil destroyed. Oh, the narrator's the fucking gold. And simultaneously eliminated a whole group of defenders. True story. True. That was a fun little How I Met Your Mother absolute reference. Evil did not hesitate for even one nanosecond. Actually, the cowardly evil did hesitate. What would await it in the city? The insidious evil entered King's Ending. A small, pitiful group of defenders stood in its way. Suddenly, the doors of several houses in the city opened, and with a loud roar, defenders bore down on the rather surprised evil. An ambush. Hey, you guys ain't shit. You guys ain't shit. The invincible evil had crushed the defenders. King's ending had been defeated. The least, that's what it thought. Oh no. Is the heroes of yore. Suddenly, the final heroes of the Alliance emerged from nowhere. Another ambush. Now, this was becoming very boring. But wait, this time it was different. Instead, the heroes raised their hands and started singing an incomprehensible chant. A magical ritual? This did not bode well. Well, actually, it bode the arrival of good things. Great things. Unless you happen to be the absolute This music's crazy. Alright, we'll play, we'll do this one and then we'll be right back to caught up. You chose poorly. The last remaining heroes of the country joined What's that reference? I feel like powerful banishment spell. The absolute evil disappeared from sight with a threatening gesture and a faint whispered 
I'll be back. Coming from its lips. The absolute evil have been banished, and its essence shattered into several pieces. Its reign of terror had ended. The good people of the overworld rejoiced, and an era of peace began for the Alliance. The evil creatures were driven back into the underground, doomed to serve as cannon fodder for pleasure-seeking adventurers. Meanwhile, secreted away in the world's most inaccessible places, the last remains of the absolute evil were resting. Oh, there was the Never fucking one ring. The the There's a lot of pop culture references. Until today, that is. Somewhere deep under the earth, the ultimate evil awoke. So here we go learning. Okay, what do we got over here? Why well, won't let me select the tutorials? There we go. Types of gold. Two types of gold. Gold veins and rich gold veins. Gold veins can be re removed quickly. Provide you with a quick boost of gold for a short period. Rich gold veins last longer, but only provide a small amount of gold each time. That's good to know. Okay. Population points. Even an evil genius such as yourself can only control a certain number of creatures. This is shown by the population points at the top. If you have reached the maximum limit, you will not be able to hire any more creatures. Unless you first dismiss one. You can do this by picking up a creature and throwing it into the pit in your throne room. Then we already know how to hire a little snot. So I'm mining gold. I don't know how long I need to mine gold for. Well, there you go. D and D, anything is badass. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've been playing it for a very long time. Um, not so much here recently, just because it's. I don't know. It's difficult when everybody's adults. You have to get everybody together and organize, and getting a consistent group is just like really fucking difficult. But when the stars align and you get a good one going for a while, that's like. That's really top tier stuff, man. That's really top tier shit. I guess it just wants me to sit here and mine fucking gold for a while. Maybe I hire some more little snots. <clears throat> I've never played in person before. It's a whole different vibe. There's a lot of like nice things about playing online. Like uh roll D20. Roll 20 is like really nice. Um However, just like the dice on the table, having everybody around, making snacks, the music, the vibes. Chef's kiss, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic. We love it. Again, I don't know how long it wants me to mine gold for. It's probably a good time to tell you guys to like the video and also tell your friends to subscribe. We made it over 150 subscribers. We're up to 155 last time I looked before the stream started. Thank you all so much for that. The support is fantastic. And I love it. Thank you. Let's keep it going. Let's take it higher. Yo, I mined the gold. Oh, now I can unlock the door. Confused guys. Was I supposed to be mining this the whole time? As soon as the gold vein was selected, a little snot immediately. Oh my god, guys. Valuable gold for the greedy evil. What a waste. That was just a waste of time. Can you take me higher? Hand of terror quickly on the spot so you deserve it bro hand thank you arsenic i appreciate it buddy i really do you guys really do be coming out here hitting for me and i appreciate it so much it means a lot to me and i just want to go ahead and apologize for monday i was so out of it i was um not 
a fucking i was just i was not human that day i don't know i was so tired and i got home and i really wanted to stream and then halo was kicking my ass and uh i just appreciate you guys coming back sorry about that that was a disservice to you all and uh i will not make a habit of it okay we're building a room first of all deselect everything select room to select treasury okay can you take it's gonna be stuck in my head now guys oh would you Clever look at that oh that's way better from now on little snobs could use the treasury to store mind gold it would then at the greedy evil's disposal whenever more get your mom's phone and sub she won't even know it's the perfect crumb yeah <laughs> <laughs> you finished the game it's all that matters i appreciate it i appreciate it i am glad we finished it oh they would require food well beer to be precise so the next important thing to build was a brewery and that would require some space to be created okay we're learning about beer now servants were not really putting their backs into the work you can also whack your units with the hand of terror in order to motivate them to work faster and emphasize the priority of a certain task. The unit you whack will be will work more effectively for a short period. To whack a unit, just right click it. It will lose a little bit of its life force. Yeah. The sadistic evil encouraged its creature to work a little faster with a friendly but not at all gentle slap. I can whip him. I can thwack my boys. Yeah. Sniffle. Get at it. Sniff. Snod. Snuffle. Snupsy. Snopsy. Snoffer. These are crazy names. That Mortal Kombat shirt more than makes up for it. Thanks. My mom bought me this. It was years ago, though, and it kind of started to get some wear and tear, and the sleeves started to, like, rip around the, the armpit area. So I just turned it into a tank. It worked out. Look at all this gold. I can't wait till I have like a big treasure room and there's just massive piles of gold and stuff. I have a feeling that's how it's going to end up turning out. I think it is better like this, for sure. There was now an area cleared for the brewery site, and with quick finger snaps from the hand of terror, the room stood ready. Excellent. But the recently built brewery lacked a brewing copper. With a sigh of resignation, the overworked evil set about taking care of that too. The hard-working evil effortlessly built a brewing copper so that delicious beer could be brewed as soon as possible. One of the little snots started working on the brewing copper. Efficiency of rooms. Rooms have an efficiency rating that shows you how well work can be performed inside. You should try to ensure that a room is surrounded by walls as far as possible and that they have ideally also been upgraded. Efficiency can increase even beyond 100%. Nostalgic evil banished all thoughts of Oktoberfest and brass bands. Those would have to wait. More important tasks had to be completed first. Both beer and gold were now available in the dungeon. So it was time to hire some creatures to defend against greedy heroes or whatever else snuck around underground. At present, it was only simple orcs declaring undying Let's go the beer! The rest of the horde was scattered to the winds. Orcs All were right. defensive close combat specialists. Wait, Capable how much? They take a lot of, of population points. However, I'm going to have to get rid of... To ranged attacks. The dungeon of the expansion mad evil grew and prospered, but unfortunately, it had reached the maximum possible population it could currently manage. No! Have to be thrown into the bottomless pit Sorry, Snupsy. others could be brought in. The creature no. disappeared into the pit of uselessness with a long drawn and gradually diminishing. Oh. <laughs> it's payday. Oh no, it's not. An eerie gong rang through the hall. It did not bode well for the ultimate evil's treasury stocks. For at each sounding I feel like it gone, should be fine now. Would collect their undeserved wages. However, there was little it could do about this as it was chained to the throne. Thus, it had to give free reign to its servants' desires. For the time being, at least. Okay. Mm. 
that took a little bit longer this submission took a little bit longer because i didn't realize that i was able to get through this door because it literally said it was locked so the orcs will automatically upgrade the walls increasing the One efficiency orc crawled up from the depths and declared allegiance to the ultimate evil the first step towards the creation of a powerful army had been taken. The profound evil had had enough of dungeon sightseeing and now wanted to move to the surface to try a dish that is best served cold. Revenge. Bench. Some Alliance members were bound to be guarding the entrance to the overworld. A fine appetizer for a vengeful evil. Okay, so I can lock and unlock the doors to help prevent them from getting in. Dig south. That's right, Sniff will get in on it. Dig, dig, dig. Work, work, work. Work, work. Oh. Came upon us oh no! Search for an entrance to the overworld. It would take more than one orb to smooth that out. The abysmal evil used the hand of terror to grab several of the creatures that were still completely inexperienced at fighting and threw them onto the spider's nest. Yeah, get in there, boys. Kill the spiders. Guys, graphically, this game is like really nice. This is like really good. The concept of this game is kind of lit as fuck. The spiders dropped like flies. The strategically well-versed evil patted itself on the back, proud that it had led its troops into battle with such a plan. And by led, I just simply mean chucking them at the end. The basics of a dungeon were now in place. However, the brewery was puny and didn't really have room to store beer barrels in. And the chance of landing Chris plus five percent. Quickly, the expansion hungry evil set out to enlarge its dungeon. Uh oh, that doesn't look. The evil has awoken, but its brothers are still asleep. Huh? What on earth was that? That's not in my script. What a weirdo. No matter. We better get back to concentrating on the dungeon. Build more treasures and expand the brewery. Okay, room. T R T. Okay. How do I expand the brewery though? Do I just like I assume I just like excavate and build around and make it more. This shouldn't take too long, I don't think. They seem to be fucking absolutely wrecking this shit. But what they said is they don't like open spaces. Hey guys, click on that link to join the Discord. I'm always posting stuff in there. Uh, clips, polls. I'll be putting implement, event information and stuff like that. Few creatures of the ultimate evil had lit a fire in the dungeon and begun to barbecue. It's just a good place to get general information about the stream whenever I have schedule changes, that type of stuff. And I assure you, I fucking assure you, there will be schedule changes from time to time. It's just the nature of my job. I can't help it. I don't like it any more than you guys do, but sometimes my job requires me to just pick up and leave and I can't help it. I apologize for that. Um, okay, time to expand the brewery. We're going to get, we're going to get really fucking big with the brewery. Can I move this? Yeah. 
Maybe I need to make it a little bit bigger. Payday. It wants me to expand the brewery, but it doesn't give me enough space to do so. How much is a brewery? 250? There we go. We have four breweries, tons of gold. I wonder if I get more population points down the road. Oh, we got some beer being brewed, boys. But it also appears that when I delegate multiple actions, they automatically sort through to like do all that. I bet it's like the worst beer. I bet it's literally like, I don't even know. It's probably like straight up grog. monstrosity loomed out of the darkness on six no eight legs this dungeon's human guards had been ancient history for a long while now it was home to a huge spider and her brood would sam and frodo escape it and continue their journey He's, to luke Mount says Doom, like so bud like the oh. end of the ring bearer hang on a minute that's not the right text where were we oh yes a huge guys the spider fucking banter is so good called the spider queen it would be necessary to eliminate the Spider Queen before the Horde could reach the surface. The Spider Queen sent forth a wave of her children. Of course, the ultimate evil was fully aware of this danger and immediately prepared to defend itself against them. At least, that's what I heard. Oh shit. Boys. Lock the door. Time for them to fight the spider queen. Oh, she hurts. The boys better get on it. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, that's good. There was po potions on the ground. How polite. And another wave of spiders set out to destroy the ultimate evil. Oh, they got this in the bag. My boys are... I got hitters out here, guys. This nasty fermented old fruit with molasses. I doubt, like... Obviously, like, you need... You need, like... The vile perversion once called... Some the kind of sugar. ...had nothing more with which you could fight the horde. Later, the sensitive evil would have her innards made into a lava lamp. The Aww. way to the surface was open. Now it was time to put those vengeance plans into practice. The vile evil wanted to take this opportunity to utter a really sinister laugh. But unfortunately, its physical state made this unviable. Instead, it asked the narrator to do a bit of sinister laughter on its behalf. Oh well, here goes. Deep breath. <laughs> Whatever they paid this narrator, they didn't pay him enough, I'm sure. <laughs> 